Okay, so I don't know what just happened. <laughs> so the next thing I want to talk, um, continue talking about is the people. So the people were really amazing. Everybody was so incredibly well read. They had a lot of book recommendations I never heard of. Um, a lot of them, we would spend time together going to a comedy show. Maybe not my kindest comedy, um, but it was really nice to sit and get out of the resort and get some food, chat a little bit, and it was just like being with another version of me where I was being fed a lot. I got so many book recommendations, conscious capitalism, any sort of communist manifestos, like this is one of the biggest ones by Karl Marx. Um, and then it was just really nice. I mean, I have a whole list literally written down. I, I, I just, it just goes on. I left with about 25 books recommended to me. So I'm really excited. You guys know I love to read. So this was really nice. Um, Another thing I found was some of the people, which people did I have some of the most powerful connections with? So uh, it was nice to obviously meet Patrick Bed David. It was really cool. I, again, was in the executive seat. In the first day, I was just like really excited to answer questions. When I shared what my goal was, um, I was I stood up in front of everyone he's like stand up and wave everybody go talk to her so I mean literally I was like flooded with a bunch of people and it was really nice to have hear different perspectives of where people were coming from interested in homeschooling their kids and things like this it was really really nice so my recommendation when you're interested in coming is to stand up definitely make sure you are known um, ask a question ask a good thought-provoking question there's another friend of mine we met right before the event and i really liked the way her brain worked it felt like it was kind of like mine very analytical very well thought out very um always asking thought-provoking questions and just with one question the power and, the, and like this was just so amazing by asking just one question she was able to this is how the power this energy works and usually it's nice and it, it wasn't necessarily jealousy in this friendship and the people that I met it was like that is so awesome you shine girl I'm just so happy for you like I was genuinely happy I'm usually the one asking these questions like whoa that was really thought-provoking and instead somebody else asked a question and it was like whoa we had case studies you're always going to interact with a lot of people no matter what level ticket that you're at this is definitely one you want to keep attending every single year it is one that's going to fill you up like i didn't talk about the previous one it did exceed my expectations when i wrote i made a video called understanding the prophetic and i talked about how I had felt really excited about it, but this was a fillingness. It was like, <laughs> I didn't mean a fillingness, but I felt so fulfilled within it. I wasn't tired. I wasn't feeling like I needed three days to just crash. I mean, everybody's up, everybody's motivated. Everybody understands a little bit in themselves. The last conference I went to, I traveled and I was tired. I mean, I was really tired and I was like, is, is that how this is supposed to feel? I wasn't sure. Maybe it was because I was like, maybe I was fasting and, and that was kind of the situation, but who knows? But this was really a really powerful filling you back up. Intellect, spirituality, making sure your, your determination is on point and your motivation. The next thing you want to think about is the financial piece. So if they're going to have it here at the Diplomat again this year in this hotel, there's tons of restaurants and stuff close by. But, you know, I'm eating vegan food now and they asked about that and it was it took a long time. And honestly, the food, <laughs> I was happy I went to Walmart before that, which is just like maybe you it's better to walk. I, but I had to take a, two, a taxi. I was just so tired and I had so much stuff. Uh, it's better to have that so in the morning you get your vegan stuff even if it's like vegan pepperoni and your vegan gouda cheese and whatever stuff you need and your cherries and go with it now I want to show you guys something too this is my conference bag okay I love purple so much but you also know I travel a lot 
I mean, if I'm not on a bus or a plane or a boat or a train, you know, what's happening to my pulse now? <laughs> so I understand what it's like to sit in a long place and need to be comfortable. I mean, workouts, everything. So I have this bag. I bought, I just, I had to invest. I had to. I mean, we know our bodies is just number one. So the first thing, I used to model for them. So I got this seat cover. I'm sure, oops. Okay, here's my badge. <laughs> so my seat cover helps me. This is like, I'm not saying the seats are bad. They're really nice. But can you imagine 12 hours, maybe an hour and a half break, but that's about it. Yeah. And then I got this back support, which was, it just helps the lumbar, which was so important. And this blanket, let's be honest, it's freezing inside of the room. People are like this. Throw this around your legs, sit on your comfy, get your back ready and get your pen and pad ready so you can start writing. That really helped me and that I really felt like gave me more of an edge so I was super comfortable and able to receive a lot of the information. That helped me tremendously, really. The next thing is to take tons of notes. So recording is banned. So what you can do is you can purchase the recording a little later, or if you buy a ticket, which is founder or CEO level, they will give you the recording just so you can have it. You can just have the recording. But um, you want to take lots of notes and you want to make sure that um, you can go back and you know, the notes are efficient enough in the way that you need it to that you can go back and replay it when you want and need. And sometimes I like to just uh, read and other times you may find it, you know, acceptable that way. They sold tickets at the end of this for the next one. So I still needed time to think, where do I want to, like, what was the most beneficial for me? I mean, it's nice to be able to be in a room and sit down and talk with everyone. Um, but that I found it was more exciting to get photo ops with certain people. <laughs> so Dustin had one and um, just walking up to people, making sure you're taking advantage of the time. Let's talk about timing. There is breaks, bathroom breaks and things like that. But the timing is so important. So what I found was it was so good that we had all of these um, case studies, we would talk about things that happened inside of business and what perspective certain groups would take. How would we handle this situation? Let's say somebody's dating, now they're coming up to you and they're angry and they're like, I want equity now. Because they're dating someone and everything was cool all of a sudden and you know how that goes. Or free speech in the workplace. Things like this that actually happen and how would we handle it? You know, what, what, what are outcomes? And there is no right way to do that. But there's also a timing, so I was noticing when everybody was working, who was taking advantage and doing other things during that time. Always make sure you're paying attention to timing, take amazing notes, and make sure you have enough books that you're like, whoa, yeah, I read that. Make sure you're well adept and read. The time off and the networking that happens, some people go and party, whatever. Sometimes that's what you need. I didn't really, I can't say I got out so much. <laughs> I would want to stay in the room because it was so comfortable and I wanted to just sit and read the notes. But then I realized I kind of came here because I wanted to be with other people. I didn't want to be alone in some of the things, in the ways I was thinking. I mean, it, it got like that in Mexico. It really got like, okay, I feel like what, I'm, I'm just, there's no one holding me accountable. So that was really important for me that I was taking advantage of meeting with other people. So uh, what was I saying? The advantages of different, um, of the timing. So that was really good that I just didn't stay inside of the room. I was going out and meeting and connecting with other people. But there was types of people I was finding in groups where I was kind of Mm, making bigger impacts than others um, and it wasn't so much that I needed to say something I went there really to listen a lot of people are like so what are you doing I'm like no no what are you doing tell me how you're managing how did you pivot from from COVID what's going on in your business what kind of issues are you having have you been to something like this before have you been to SLS so there's all these different programs and conferences and I want to share with you this as you know we're speaking honestly. I've already taken uh, Patrick Fitzdavid's. I'm enrolled in all of the courses right now. 
So there is a sales leadership course, an advanced sales leadership course, and um, understanding public speaking. And then I've already taken the mastermind courses. This is exciting. And I go to angel investor meetings. I actually um, shared with you guys one of the meetings that I had that I was inside of and the things that we talk about. And it's all masterminding. So everybody is really at CEO, founder, or executive level. And we're all kind of discussing some of the issues that happen. And this happens for free. So when you're looking at funding and you can't necessarily get to a VC, a venture capitalist, you want to be able to make sure that you're like staying inside of that space. I have a YouTube video called The Future is Digital, Quit Your 9 to 5, and I talk about the trajectory of businesses. So make sure if you are in an area where you're looking for funding, you're not giving away like over 51% of your company. That's ridiculous. In an angel portion, like when you're looking at the trajectory of your business, you want to know that that's like the beginning stages. There's the running ground part, the bootstrapping part, then the beginning stages, and then like the trajectory of your business. So be careful with that. That's just a side note. But it was really nice also a lot of the speakers. So the speakers were really nice because I spent all day... Um, one guy, Billy, was amazing. He is all baseball and strategy. On my YouTube, um, on my Instagram, I have a book about scouting and how the um, how, how the coach of the Kansas was really scouting how he and his wife helped put this team together. So understanding scouting is everything. It's not even just, it's using these principles in life, not just in business, not just for a baseball team, everything. So I was super excited to meet him. And then my mind went immediately to Ray Dalio and how I'd been studying Ray Dalio and how he has all of these systems breaking down and what to invest in. So the notes that you're gonna take actively during this business meeting is just very powerful. I will say um, it was kind of um, advertised that we would talk about everything from how we're relating in our business to our health and to how things happen in the bedroom. And so why was I so interested in this? Because a lot of people that come to me um, that become clients like they're married and I've helped a lot of them and it's really nice that I'm not holding this 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 idea that I know everything and I am the queen of no I'm like I'm here I'm humble I'm hungry I'm ready to keep learning and let's let, let, let's do let's do it right let's drill in and I really was excited that that was kind of like the situation where we're able to gain more velocity intensity but we didn't talk about that in, uh, as much. I mean, I just felt that that was kind of like, and no, we have four kids, and so let's talk about something else. So it wasn't really as much as I had planned on. It was really like something that was kind of brushed off by a, the very powerful question asker. And then it was just answer it like this, honey. Okay, thanks. Uh, so there was a lot of protection in an area where there was general transparency. It was kind of like, oh, okay. So um, moving on. <laughs> so there are some things that I was feeling kind of like at the executive level, ticket, uh, the food is something you need to come prepared with. You need to know just in general, whatever level ticket that you're using, you wanna make sure that you are absolutely comfortable. I didn't take a laptop because there was no need for that. They sell notes. But you know me, I have my notepad and I'm even on a bus or a plane and I'm in my pen and paper. Um, so it was, it was really nice to have all this stuff. By the way, Purple is not sponsoring me. It would be nice if they did. I'm just telling you some of the stuff that I use. So yeah, definitely make sure you have food and they have refrigerators here, but no microwaves. And downstairs they have like a very overpriced place. So make sure, especially if you're coming here that you're doing, you're making sure you're doing it. Everybody at this place was amazing. I mean, obviously we're all here. Nobody's like, you know, I've when I was doing a different conference, I slept on somebody's floor because they ran out of hotels. And I, it was probably all I could afford it at the time was $33. But um, it was really nice to see that. There was one guy who was sleeping in his car. He had taken a three hour drive and he was sleeping in his car. I don't know where he took a shower, but there's tons of bathrooms, so guys don't really need to <laughs> do a whole lot. Just uh, maybe a towel and some, some anyway. 
Um, <laughs> so it was really nice to have that. The badge that we had gets us access to everywhere in the building. So um, even if we wanted to swim at the, the pool and the resort, we had the access and the ability to do that. I did mention that I'm about to check out, so I just want to wrap this up and tell you guys, please make the investment in yourself and go to any conference if you can. What I did learn, though, is that uh, we've been to Pitch Fest, but it's uh, Pat's recommendation not to pay for a ticket if it's a Pitch Fest. If people are just going to pitch you their business and they're trying to sell you something, leave it alone don't go if they if you're paying for the ticket there's no reason a free ticket makes sense i'm here taking your time so please buy my product so just make sure you're keeping your eye on that keep reading you were rocking it and it's really hard to take a lot of self-reflection uh that's what i'm taking from this a lot of it is so <laughs> It's, it's a little painful. It's kind of like, you know, sitting down with yourself and seeing some of the not so pretty parts of you and, um, you know, where you could grow. It's painful and it's really nice. So I want you guys to just keep tooting your horn. All right. I'll see you on the next video. Take care. Bye.